So we've talked in previous videos about production possibilities, and we've talked about specialization and trade. And the last little piece of this chapter is to talk about a special type of trade, and that is trading between the present and the future and how that affects one's production possibilities. So first, let's think about what we mean by short run and long run. The short run is the period in which you make decisions that reflect your immediate or short-term wants, needs, or limitations. And in the short run, you can only partially adjust your behavior. So, for example, if you're a firm, maybe in the short run you can change the number of employees you have right quick in response to something that happens in the market, but you can't necessarily change how big your building is right quick. That would be changes in capital would be something that takes a longer time to change. And so you can only partially adjust your behavior in the short run. But the difference, on the other hand, in the long run is that now you have enough time to fully adjust. You can adjust anything you need to given a much enough time. So the long run is the period in which we make decisions that reflect our needs, wants, and limitations over a long horizon. And that's a period of time in which we can adjust anything we need to adjust to, um, to adjust to market conditions. So we, we can think about the short run, and we can think about the long run, and we can think about what we do in terms of these two different types of goods in each um, time period or time horizon. Um, so there are consumer goods. Those are the goods that are produced for our current consumption. Food. <laughs> the things you produce today and you sell today. You produce today and you use today. Right? Capital goods, on the other hand, are goods that help us produce other goods, so our factories, our machines, um, things like that, right? An investment means using our resources to create or buy new capital. So capital isn't something that we consume today, but it's something that helps us to produce more things to consume. So investment says we give up some of our consumption today in order to instead buy new capital goods so that tomorrow we can produce more of the consumer goods and we can consume more tomorrow. So here's what that looks like in terms of our production possibilities frontier. If we think about our production possibilities being um, capital goods versus consumer goods. All right, so in the past examples, we've looked at two different products that were on each of these axes for production possibilities. Let's just think now about two different types of goods on the production on the two um, axes of our production possibilities. So on the vertical axis we've got the capital goods we produce and on the horizontal axis we've got the consumer goods that we produce. And if we currently are at point A, right, in the short run this is our production possibilities frontier. We're at point A, which shows that we're, we're putting a lot of our money and resources toward consumer goods and just a little bit toward capital goods, right? We're much more to the right on here than we are to, to the top, than we are up. So we're putting a lot of resources toward consumer goods, those things that we can use today, not putting as many resources toward capital goods, the things that help us produce more tomorrow. So what that means for our production possibilities frontier is that in the long run, it will move out some. It won't move out a ton, right? Why does it move out at all? It's because we did put some resources we weren't completely on the axis of the consumer goods. We were devoting some resources to capital goods, which means we've improved our technology some, which means tomorrow we'll be able to produce a little more than we could today. So we will see our production possibilities frontier shift outward in the long run. Compare this picture to this picture. So if instead of producing at point A, which was way down here, we instead are producing at point B, 
where we're putting a lot of resources, about maybe about half and half it looks like, toward consumer goods and capital goods. We're putting a lot more of our resources toward capital goods here than we were in the previous picture. What does that mean for the long run? This means in the long run, our production possibilities will shift out a lot. The more we devote to capital goods today, the, the greater our production possibilities will be tomorrow. It's a tough trade-off though, right? Because you're asking the firm to give up those consumption goods today. The consumption goods are where our cash flow comes from. That's how we bring money in, right? And so you're asking me to stop producing today. You're asking me to stop, to give up some money today in order to be able to produce more tomorrow. That is investment. Investment doesn't always have to be toward capital goods. It can be toward human capital um, or improving humans in terms of education or skills formation, right? So investment can go toward human capital in forms such as going to college or acquiring new skills. That's what you're doing here watching this video. You are spending time investing in acquiring new knowledge, new skills, and your goal is that. Your goal is that as you give up some of that money you could be making by doing something other than watching this video right now. Um, you giving up time that you could be spending on valuable things today in order to invest in human capital. You're investing in learning something new. Your goal is that tomorrow you'll be able to produce a lot more than you could today. That, that hopefully the returns on that investment will be great.